Hi, and welcome to An Atheist Reads the Hadith. Let's get stuck in. This is from the Book of Belief, Chapter 9. To love the answer is a sign of faith. Narrated Annas, the prophet said to love the answer is a sign of faith and to hate the answer is a sign of hypocrisy. And uh, <laughs> there's a footnote. Oh, it says see the glossary. So let's see the glossary. Here we go. <laughs> Answer. The companions of the prophet from the inhabitants of Al Medina who embraced Islam and supported it and who received and, and entertained the Muslim emigrants from Mecca or Mecca and other places. So, so in other words, <laughs> if you love Muhammad's um, followers, um, anyone who, who embraces Islam, that is a sign of faith, but if you hate these people, uh, that's a sign of hypocrisy. 18. Narrated Ubada bin Asamit, Allah's messenger, said, while a group of his companions were around him, Give me the bay'ah, which means pledge, for 1. Not to join anything in worship along with Allah. 2. Not to steal. 3. Not to commit illegal sexual intercourse. 4. Not to kill your children. 5. Not to utter slander intentionally, forging falsehood. In other words, by making illegal children belonging to their husbands, or not to accuse an innocent person and to spread such an accusation among people. 6. Not to be disobedient when ordered to do maruf. 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 Islamic monotheism and all other good deeds, etc. The Prophet added, whoever amongst you fulfills his pledge will be rewarded by Allah and whoever indulges in any one of these sins gets the punishment in this world. That punishment will be an expiation for that sin. And if one indulges in any of them and Allah conceals his sin, it is up to him to forgive him in the hereafter. Okay, so this this requires pause for thought here. What is meant by Allah concealing the person's sin? I can only assume it means that it is only Allah who knows that the person has sinned and has concealed it from everyone else. So the only person who knows about the sin is the sinner and Allah. And so it is, it is upon Allah to forgive or to punish the sinner in the hereafter. So it's, it's, it's up to Allah whether this person goes to heaven, uh, you know, forgive him and lets him go to heaven, and, or doesn't forgive him and, and 
sends him to hell. So we gave the by a pledge for these points to Allah's messenger. Chapter 10 To flee from al fitan trials and afflictions, etc., is a part of religion. 19. Narrated Abu Sa'id al Qudri. Allah's Messenger said, A time will come when the best property of a Muslim will be sheep which he will take on top of the mountains and the places of rainfall, valleys, so as to flee with his religion from al fatan from trials, afflictions, etc. So that's interesting because Jesus seems to teach that Christians are to go through and endure trials and tribulations. Um, but Muslims seem to be, at least here in this passage, uh, to seem to be taught to um, run away from them. And that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> as a, you know, as um, uh, so, you know, that's quite interesting. Well, to me it is anyway. <laughs> okay. Chapter 11. The Statement of the Prophet. I know Allah better than all of you do. 20. Narrated Aisha, which is the, uh, the child bride of Muhammad. Whenever Allah's Messenger ordered the Muslims to do something... He used to order them deeds which were easy for them to do, according to their strength and endurance. They said, O oh, Allah's Messenger, we are not like you. Allah has forgiven your past and future sins. So Allah's Messenger became angry, and it was apparent on his face. He said, I fear Allah more, and know Allah better than all of you do. Hmm. So, could, could he have been saying that they have no right to say that, <laughs> that Allah has forgiven his past and future sins, because I don't know that, only he does, because he knows Allah better than all of them. There seems to be the sense of this passage anyway, but I'll let you <laughs> make up your own minds. And I think we'll leave it there. <laughs> well, okay, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, if you like this video, then um, give us a, a an upvote and uh, if you want to um, see more of these videos, um, as well as an atheist reads the Quran and um, the life of Muhammad, and also exclusive uh, videos, then then do follow this channel. <laughs> then follow this channel for more. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>